Book 3 Elliot, leaving behind the lovely standing waters, rose up into the blazing sky to shine upon the immortal and also unmortal men across the grain giving foreign land. They came to Pylos Nilios, strong from the citadel, where the people on the shore of the sea were making sacrifice of viewers who were all black to the dark hair earth shaker. There were nine settlements of them, and is and in each 500 holdings and from each of these nine booths were provided now as the states the, the um, entrails and burn for the god the thing or the the thigh the z <laughs> the thigh bones of these other spot trading and on the balance ship to f took off the sails and stowed them and more herring and then Sir landed. Mekus stepped out of the ship, but Atem went first, and it was the great-eyed goddess Atem who first spoke to him. Telemachus here is no more need at all of modesty, for this was why you sailed on the open sea. To find news, your father, what Sawyer covered him, what fate he has met with. So can now go straight up to Nestor, breaker of horses, for we know what intelligence is hidden inside him. You yourself must entreat him to speak the word through to you. He will not tell you any falsehood. He is too doubtful. Then the doubtful Telemachus said to her in answer, Mentor, how shall I go out to him? How close with him? I have no experience in close discourse. There is embarrassment for a young man who must question his elder. Entertainment by Nestor. Then in turn the grey-eyed goddess Aten answered him, Telemachus son of it you yourself will see in your own heart, and so the divinity will put in your mind I do not think you could have born and um, rare without his the gods will, so spoke Pelet at him, and she led the way swiftly, and the men followed behind her, walking in the gods' footsteps. They came to where the men of Pilot were gathered in session, where Nestor was sitting with his son, and companions about him were arranging the feast and roasting the meat, and spitting more portions, this man, when they see these strangers all come down together, certify and get them greeting with their hands and offer them place. First place traders, some of Nestor came close out to them and took them both by the hands and seated them at the feasting on soft rugs of fleece, their own descent of the seed heart next to his brother Trace Med. And next to his father, he we he gave them portion of the bitters and poured wine before, for them in a golden cup, and spoke a word to both of them, pledging the palace at him, who is daughter of Zeus of the Aegis, my guest, make your prayer now to the Lord Poseidon, for his the festival you had come to come to on your arrival. Sorry. Uh, but when you had power to him and pray according to custom, uh, custom, then give this man also a cut of the sweet wine, so that he took him power for I see he also will make his prayer to the immortals or many of the gods. But this one is a younger man than you and of the same age as I am. This is why I am first giving you the golden blowet goblet so he spoke and put in her hand the cup of sweet wine and attend was happy at the soft fearness of a just man because it was to her that he first gave the golden goblet immediately she made her prayer to the lord poseidon he asked poseidon who circled the earth and do not break bed rush us the accomplishment of all this action for which we pray you first of all to Nestor and to his son rent glory 
and then on all the rest of the palliance besides Confederation's recompense in return for this grant he came to he came and yet again grant that Telemachus and I go back with that business done for which we came this way in our black ship she spoke in prayer but herself was bringing it all the to completion Telemachus as after audition that she gave Telemachus the fine to Hamlet, Goblet, and the their song of Odysseus pray in the way that she had. When they had roasted and taken off the spits, the outer meats, the violin shares they held their communal high feet. But when they had put aside their desire for eating and drinking, first to speak was the geranium, a horseman nestor. Now is a better time to interrogate our guests and ask them who they are now they had had the pleasure of hearing a stranger who are you from where did you come sailing over the weary ways is it on some business or are you regularly robbing as pirates do when they sail on the salt sea and venture they live as they wander bringing every to alien people then they then the dog fool Telemachus said to him in answer, taking courage, for Athen herself had put that courage in his hair so that he might, as after his absent father, and so that Emma people he might win and good reputation. Oh, Nestor, uh, Nelio, some great glory of the Achaeans, you as us where we come from therefore I will tell you we come from Ithaca under the mountain Aeon. this is a private matter no public business of which I tell you I follow the wife of my father, father um, on the chain of hearing of the great passion hurry Odysseus the man they say once fought beside you and held up the city of the Trojans for we had been to told about all the other men who once, once fought the Trojans, how each one of them perished inside destruction, but the song of Kronos has made this man dead, one that no one knows. There is no man who can plainly tell us when he perished, whether he was left on the mainland by men in Bethlehem or on the open sea in the villas of Amphitrite. That is why I come to your knees now, in case you might wish to tell me of this, of his dismal destruction, whether you saw it, saw it, <laughs> saw it, perhaps with your own eyes, or hear the tale from another who wanders too. His mother bore this man to be wretched, do not, ha do not, do not soften it because you pity me in and are sorry for me but fairly tell me all that your eyes have witnessed i implore you if ever now audacious my father even undertook any work or work and fulfill it for you in the land of the trojans where you achaeans suffer tell me death things from your memory and tell me the whole truth Nestor remember three in turn Nestor the Geranian horseman answered him their friend since you remind me remind me of sorrows which in that country we endure we sons of the Achaeans valiant forever or all we endure in our ships on the misty face of the water crescent after plunder whatever Achilles, Achilles, let us, or are we endure about the great city of the Lord Priam fight, fighting? And all who were our best were killed in that place. There is lies a man of battles, there lies Achilles, there lies Patroclus, one who was like the gods for counsel, and there lies my own beloved son, both strong and steadily until of course surprisingly swift to run and a fighter and many besides these were the evils we suffer what a man who was one of the mortal people could ever tell the horror of it 115 
50, not if you were to side beside me five years and six years and ask me about the average degree of decayance and you're there. Sooner you would be tired of it and go back to your country. For nine years, we fabricate everything against them, trying them with every kind of stratagem, and at last the son of Kronos finished it. Then there was no man who wanted to be set up for cunning against great Odysseus. He far surpassed them in every kind of stratagem. Your father, if truly you are his son, and wonder size me when I look on you, for certainly your words are like his words, nor would anyone ever have thought that a younger man could speak so like him. For why I am the great Odysseus were there together. Um, we never spoke against one another, neither in concert nor assembly, but forever one in mind and in so far planning. We worked out how things could go best for the our gift. But after we had sucked the sheer citadel of Priam and were going again in our ships and the god scattered it, the Achaeans then Zeus and his mind devised a sorry homecoming for the Argev, since not all were considerate, considerate nor righteous. Therefore, many of them found a bad way home because of the renewed anger of the great eye, one whose father is mighty. It was she who made a quarrel between the two sons of Atreus. When these two, when these two called all the Achaeans into assembly, willingly and in no kind of order, as the sun was seared, and the sons of the Achaeans came in heavy with drinking 114 wine, these two spoke for, no estoy segura si wine, o sea vino, se pronuncia así, creo que es vino, <laughs> well. uh, these two spoke for, it was why they assembled the people, and the start of the homecoming, at this time Menelaus was uh, urging all the Achaeans to think of going home over the seas while rigid, but this didn't, this did not, or this didn't mm, please Agamemnon, 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 at all, he wished rather to hold the people there and accomplish holy he came so as to soften Athens deadly anger, poor fool who had no doubt he in his mind that she would not listen to him. The will of the everlasting gods is not is not turned suddenly. So these two, after making a chain with hard words, stopped up to go and the rest of the strong river a cane rush out with inhuman clamor and two opposed consorts please them that night we sleep there pondering in our minds hard though against each other Zeus was contriving pain of hardship Adam saw of us howled our ships down into the divine sea and loaded our possessions above and the deep jiddly woman but half the people were her back because they remained there with a gay man known, a trio son, shepherd of the people. With the other half went apart and dropped on, and the ship went very fast as a god flattened the sea for half monster. We came to Tenedos and made sacrifice to the immortals we were straining homeward, but Zeus had her was not yet devising homecoming for us, but again inspired yet another quarrel. Then some who followed the Lord Odysseus, the wise and reserved fool, turned about and boarding one more day, our sweep, versus, or visors, went back, bringing mm, comfort to other son, a gay man now. 
But I, with all the ships that followed Pullet together, fled away, for I saw how the god was devising evers, and the warlike son of Tadeus fled and urged his companion um, and laid fair hair, Menelaus, came to join us, and called us at Lesbos as we pondered our long sea, Boyesh, whether we should say over the top of rocky chaos by the sla Iceland, Cyrus keeping it on our left hand, or else to pass under Chaos or Chaos, but uh, by when the Mimas, or Mimas, <laughs> Mimas, we ask the God to give us some portent for a thing or sign, and the God gave us one and tell us to cut across the middle of Messi. For a boy, and so must quickly escape the hovering ever. A whistling wind rose up and began to blow, and the ships ran very fast across those waves full of fish, and at night time brought us in at Rizos, we sacrificed many dead or thy bones. The border of a game and on. Vamos a ver cuántos para. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Ok, ok. Si están eso, al fondo. Recuerda que estoy en el campo. Entonces, bueno. Entonces, bueno. Esto es el cuchillo. Los más bulliciosos. Bulliciosos. Of words to Poseidon, having measured the great open water, it was the fourth day when the companions of Di Di Diomedes, or Diomedes, breaker of horses, that they also may fast their plans, ships at Argos. I heard of um, four pilots never once did the whim fail once the god had set air to blowing, so their ship I came back. Without news, and I knew nothing of those other Achaeans which had survived, which once had perished, but all I had got by hearsay, sitting here in my palace, this you sure now it is right you should, I will not consider it, they say that the Myrmidons, those furious spearmen led by the glorious son of great Harry, Achilles, made a good voyage. 119 and Philoctetes, Poyas, Shiny Sun, had fair sailing and Idomeneus brought back to Gret or Cret, all of his companions who had escaped from the fighting the sea took none of these men. You yourself, though you live apart, had heard of Atreides, how he came home and how Aegisthus devised his wretched death, but Aegisthus to pay for it in a dismal fashion of fashion. So it is good when a man has perished to have a son left after him since this one took vengeance on his father killer. The traitorous Aegisthus who cut down his glorious father, so you too, dear friend, for I see you are tall and splendid, be brave too, so that my album may speak well of you. Then they do food till they may go sell to him in answer, O oh, Nestor, son of Nilius, great, great glory of the Achaeans, it is all too true, too true, <laughs> that he took revenge. Uh, and so the Achaeans will carry his glory for um, white a them for the singers to come. If only the gods would give me such a strength as he has to take revenge on the sweaters for day overbearing oppression. They first they weigh upon me and relentlessly, relentlessly plot against me. Now the gods have spun out no such strength of prosperity for me and my father. Now we must even have to endure it. Then in turn after the geranium first men under him. Their friend, since you have spoken about the sins and reminded me, they do say that many sorrows for the sake of your mother are in your palace against your will and plot ever against you. 
Tell me, are you willingly put down or are the people who live about you say you by some divine voice and hate you? Who knows whether he will come someday and punish the violence of these people either by himself or all the Achaeans with him? If only great I attend good day I uh, then to, to love you as in those days she used so to take care of glorious auditions in the Trojan country where we again suffer miseries for I never saw the gods showing such open affection as Pallas Athen. The way she stood beside him openly if she good them to love you as she did him and care for you in her heart then some of the, those people might well forget about Miriam, then the doubtful Tremeco said to him in answer, all theory, I think that what you have said will not be accomplished, what you mean is too big, it bewilders me that which I hope for could never happen to me, not even if the God so will it. Now, in turn, the great eyes, goddess Athen spoke to him, Telemachus, what sort of words can your teeth barrier? Lightly a god, if he wishes, can say amen, even from far off. I myself, who, who would rather fear had gone, gone through many hardships and then come home and look upon my day of returning, then come home and be carried at my own hair as a gaming gnome was killed by the treacherous plot of his wife and by a stove, but it is a thing that comes to all alike. Not even the god can fade it away from a man they love when once the destructive doom of leveling did have fastened upon him. Then the dove form Telemaco said to her in answer, Mentor, though we sorrow let us speak no more of these things, his homecoming is no longer a real thing, but already the immortal gods must have contrived his teeth and black doom. But now I could find out about another story and question Nestor, since the right of Sneeze and though in his mind out past two hundred forty five others and they say he has been lord over three generations of men. He shapes as an immortal for me to look upon. O oh, Nestor, son of Nilius, tell me the true story how the true son weatherly rolling against Menon died. And where was Menelaus? What skin of this of this Dear Tricheros, 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 a guest of how to kill one far better than he was. He was. Was Menelaus out of Achaia in Argos wandering? Heirs were among men that a guest had courage to do it. Then in turn, after the Geranian horseman answered, So, my she, or my shy, I will relay you the whole true story, all good had happening, happening uh, just in the way your, yourself had seen it, if a true son failed her many laws on his homecoming, the murder of a gay man now. From Troy, uh, from Troy had found a Jesus still alive in his palace, even after his death no good had happy any earth upon him but he would have lain in the field outside the city and the dogs 216 and beers would have feasted on him nor would any Achaean woman have wailed over him. That was a monstrous plot he accomplished for we were sitting out there and accomplishing many hard tasks while he at easy did in the corner of horse pasturing our goats talking to a gay man's wife and trying to share here. Now, in time before, beautiful Clitheimestra could not consent to the act of shame for her own nature was honest. And also a man was there, a singer whom a gay man, when he went to Troy, had given many instructions to keep watch on his wife. But when the dawn of the gods had entailed her 
so that 217 she must open it. Aegisthus took the singer and left him on a desert island for the birds of prey to spoil and feed on, and took her back to the to his house, and she was willing as he was then on the sacred altars of the gods. He burned many zin zig bones and hung up many dedication gods and things woven. Vamos a ver este también que no sé cómo se pronuncia. Por si las moscas. For having accomplished this monstrous thing, he never had hope for. Now we sail back on our way from Troy together as the son Menelaus and I with friendly those toward each other. But when we came to Holy Sonia, the cave of Athens, their poivos Apollo with a visitation of his painless 218 arrows killed the steersman of Menelaus, the one who held in his hands the steering hour or oar or of the running ship. This was Frontin's onitor son, who surpassed all the breed of mortars in the steering of a ship whenever a storm winds were blown. So Menelaus, though straining for the journey, was detained there to bury his companion and give him to riches, but when he too had won out on the wine blue open water in his hollow shed and made his run as far as the steep rock uh, of Melea, the seals of the white rose devised that his journey should be hateful and poured up upon him the blood of thrilling 219 winds and waves that verged and grew monstrous like mountains. Uh, there he cut the fleet in two parts and drove on um, Crete, where the Cydonians live around the stream of Ardenos. There is the shear of a cliff, a steep rock out in the water at the other end of Gortis, on the misty face of the main, where 295 the soil. Oh, south, oh, south. <laughs> wind piles up a huge surf on the left of the rock. Toward five souls and a little stone hurled out the big water. It was there they came and violently worked the men avoid the destruction, but the wave smashed their ships on the splinters of rock, but the wind and the water Cashing out the other five star prowess. She swore them along and drove them um a jib. So Menelaus gathering much gold and livelihood in those parts, sailed with his ships to men of alien language, and all the while had at home a gift of working out his grand plans. Seven years he lived of the Lord over Golden Mikem. After the Kir traded with the people so yet beneath him, but in the eighth, the heavy came on him with Oresus come, come home from Athens, and he killed his father's mother, the traitorous Aegisthus, who had killed his glorious father. When he had killed, he ordered among the Argive a grief. Mon 310 for his mother who was hateful and for our like a Jesus. And on the same day, men allowed of the great war cry sailed and bringing back many positions the burden his ship carried. So their friend, do not just stay long and far wandering away from home. Live in your position and in your house, men 300 fighting so overbearing for fear they divided up all your property prepare and eat it away so all your journey we had no profit and yet i do encourage you and urge you to be men aloud for he is only come from abroad and people who if were no man might would ever have hope of returning 320 once in the storm winds had blundering him of his course and into an open sea that is so great that not the birds even cross it by their own strength. It is so big and terrible, 
but go to him now with your ship and with your companions or if you wish to go by land. Here are houses and carriers um, and here are my own sons at your service who will be your escort into China like Damon. The home of fair hair Menelaus, you yourself must entreat him to speak the whole truth to you. He will not tell you any falsehood, he is too doubtful, so he spoke, and the sun went down, and the darkness came over, and now the great eyed goddess Eten spoke for before them. All sir, all that you have said was fair and orderly, but come now, cut out the tongues of the victims and mix the wine bowls, so that when we had poured an offering uh, to Poseidon, and the other immortals we can sing about sleep. It is that time. For now, the light has, has gone into the darkness, nor is it becoming to sit about at the feast of the gods, but better to go home. So she spoke the daughter of Zeus, and they listened to her. The hair poured water over their hands to wash with, and the young men fired the mixing bowls with wine for their drinking and passed to all after they had offered a drink in the goblets they threw the tongues in the fire and stopped up and made a libation but when they had poured and drunk each as much as he wanted then Atem um, got the light Telemachus started out together to go again to their hollow vessel but Nestor detained them where they were and made a speech to them my seals and all the other immortals besides four friends that you in my domain should go on back to your fast ship. As from some men are together poor and without glory, who has not any abundance of blankets and rocks in his household, three, three hundred fighting for his guest, of four himself to sleep in South comfort but I do have a um, fine rocks and blankets. No, no, in my house the dear son of Odysseus shall not have to go to sleep on the deck of a ship as long as I am alive and my sons after me are left in my palace to entertain our guests. However, comes to my household, then in turn the goddess grey I attend said to him. This was well said by you, their author. It is fighting that Telemachus should obey you, since it is much better that way, so he shall go along with you now, so that he can sleep in your palace, but I shall be going down to my black ship, so that I can encourage my companions and tell them everything, for I am the only man among them who can call myself an elder, the rest are of an age, with the great hurry Telemachus, our younger man, who out of love for him went along. There I will lie down beside the black ship now, but out down shall make for the great her cocoonus where a dev army has been peeling up. It is not a new thing, nor a small one. You see, this young man has come to your household, give him conventions with your son by carriage, and give him those horses that are best for strength and the lightning running so speaking red eye at him when every in the likeness of a virtue and amazement sights on all the canyons. And the old man was amazed at what his eyes saw he took. And uh, Tremeco by the hand and spoke a word to him, and named him the friend I have known though, that you will turn out me and cowardly if when you are so young the gods go with you and guide you or give you. Thus he was no other of those who had their homes on Olympus, but the very daughter of Zeus must honor Trigogenia who always among the Argyf favor your noble father. So now, O queen, be, gr mm, <laughs> be, sh be gracious and grant me good reputation for myself and for my children also and for my great wife. And I will sacrifice you and your link call 
with white forehead and broken one no man has ever led under the yoke yet. I wicked both her arms with gold and offered her to you. So he spoke in prayer. Sorry, <laughs> I may um, we go more slow for learning this language. Um, and so, and Paul also thanked her him. Now the Guardian horseman Nestor left the way for his son and his son in law, but to his splendid dwelling. But after they had reached the glorious dwelling of the king, they took their place in order on chairs and along the bench. 319 and all they came in to all men mixed the wine both of them with wine sweet to drink which the housekeeper had opened in its 11 year and loosed the ceiling upon it the old men mixed the wine in the bowl and prayed much pouring a libation out to a ten dollar of fields of the ages when they had poured and drunk each man as much as he wanted they went away each one to sleep in his own dwelling but neither the Geranian horseman gave Telemachus the dear son of good light Odysseus a place to sleep in upon a colder bed still and the echo in portico next him was Pacis traitor of the throng of spear leader of men who of his son in the palace was still a bachelor, but Nestor himself slid in the inner room of the high house, and it and at his side the lady, his wife, served as a bed fellow. But when the young dame showed again with her rosy fingers, then Nestor, the Geranian horseman, rose up from his bed and went outside and took his seat upon the polished stones which were there in place uh, for him in front of the towering doorway white stones with a shine on the that glistened on this before him, before him Nilius and Consul like the gods had heard his sessions four hundred ten but he had been bearing uh, down by his dome and gone down to his house and now Geranian entered the Achaean watcher sat there holding his staff and his son coming out of their chambers. Sacrifice to attempt. Gathering a cluster about him, a cave from a straight of Perseus or Perseus and Aretus and Tresmes. The godlike 1415 and 6 was the era Pisces traders who came to join them. They brought out would like Telemachus and Siri him next to them, and after the Geranian horsemen began speaking to them, to them, add quickly now their children and do me this favor so that I may propitiate, propitiate fears of all the gods at them who came to. <coughs> Sorry, who can plainly to me at our happy feasting in the God's honor condemn? Let one man go to the field for a cow so that she may come with our speed, and let one of the officer be driving here, and one go down to the black ship of great Harry Telemachus and bring back all his companions, leaving only two beside her for hundred. Uh, 25 and yet another go tell the worker in gold larkis to come so that he can cover the cow's horns with gold you others stay here all together in a group but tell the serving women who are in the house to prepare a glorious dinner and set chairs and firewood in reading readiness or readiness readiness <laughs> and first fry water so he spoke, and they all bustled about the cow came in front of the field, and the company of great hairy Telemachus came from beside their fast black ship, and the smith came, holding in his hands the tall for, for game bronze, and his handicraft symbols, 
the Amber and the Sledgehammer and the Wear Grow Princess, with which he used to work the cover and attain also can to be can came to be at her right. Now Nestor the Age horseman gave the smith the gold and he gilded the coat her with it carefully so the god might take pleasure seeing her offering. Straight up and the noble a came from let the coy by the arm, arms and every toes came from the inner chamber carrying lustral water in a flower bowl and in the other hand scattering barely in a basket stood fast trace made stood by with the shard at in his hand to strike down the hyper Perseus had a dish for the blood and the eight horsemen Nestor began with the water and barely making long prayers to attend in dedication and threw the head hers in the fire. Now when all had made prayer in flung and flung down the scattering barley, thrusting mid he uh, the high horizon of Nestor standing close up the stroke, and the axe showed its way through the tendons four hundred fighting of the neck and answering the strength of the cow and now the daughters and daughters in law of Nestor and his great Erudike. Elders of the daughters of Climenus raised the outcry, outcry they lifted the cow from earth of the white waist and her her fast in place and paced straight leader of men slaughtered here now when the black blood had run out and his spirit spirit went from the bones they divided her into parts and cut out the deep deep die bones all according <laughs> this is problem <laughs> this video okay according to due order and ripe them in fact making a double fold and lay shred of flesh upon them the old man burned this uncleft stick and powered the gleaming 416 wine over while the young men with forks in their hands stood about him. But when they had burned the dead pieces and staked the bitters, they cut all the remainder into pieces and spited them. And rose all carefully and took off the pieces. Meanwhile, lovely Polycase, who was the youngest, for 165 of the daughter of Nestor, son of Nilius, had better Telemachus, but when she had buried him, him and <laughs> anointing him sleekly with olive oil, she threw a splendid mantle and a tonic about him, and he came out from the bath looking like an immortal and came and sat down beside Nestor shepherd of the people. When they had roasted and taken off the spit, the outer meats, they dinned where they were sitting and men of quality started up and poured them wine in the golden goblets. But when they had put away their desire for eating and drinking, Nestor the Geranian horseman began speaking to them. Come now, my children harness the bright men horse under the yoke for the Telemachus so that he can get on with his journey. So he spoke in the listened word to him and obeyed him, and quickly they harnessed the fast horse under the chariot, and the woman who was housekeeper put bread and wine in, and mean and meats such as kin whom the gods love feed on, and Telemachus stepped up into the fair grub chariot, and by him paces traitors, leader of men the son of Nestor went up into the chariot and he his hands took the reins and whipped the horse to run and they winged their way and released them 485 into the plain and left behind the sheer city of pilots all day long they shook the joke and they worked on their shoulders and the sun set and all the journey ways were darkening. They came to Feria of Fire and reached the house of Diocles, who was son of Artilocus, whom Arpheus once had child childed. There they slept the night and he gave them hospitality 
hospitality. But when the young down show up uh, gay with her rosy fingers, they joke the horse again and mounted the carriage the bride with bronze and drove them out the front door and the echoing portico and he whipped them into a room and they winged their way on them that uh, they can enter the plane for off it and by that way made good their journey as their fast horse took his this by way and then the sunset and the sunset and all the journey place were darkening the end wow casi me quedo sin voz <laughs> nos vemos en el próximo video con el libro 4